Australia is home to some of the most terrifying and wackiest looking creatures you will ever see. And it seems like pretty much any normal animal elsewhere in the world has evolved into terrifying monsters in Australia. For example, we have the batshit crazy Tasmanian devil. This little maniac chooses violence no matter the situation. They fight so much amongst themselves that it has come to the point of threatening their very existence as they are losing a lot of their population to battle wounds. These guys are infamous for their gnarly growling sounds. They also have one very disturbing quirk. Sometimes when finding a carcass, they make their bed and set up camp inside the carcass, basically living in their own natural all-you-can-eat buffet. The Tasmanian devil was not always like this. At some point in time, they looked like these cute little tiger quolls, which are basically the polar opposite. But when the island of Tasmania got separated from mainland Australia, they basically had no other option but to evolve into the ferocious creatures we see today. Australia also has an array of crazy-looking insects. For example, we have one of the largest spider species in the world, the Huntsman Spider. It can have a leg span of up to 30 centimetres or 12 inches, making it an impressive and intimidating sight indeed. Australia also has the most deadly spider in the world, the Sydney Funnel Web Spider. Its venom contains a potent neurotoxin that can affect the nervous system, leading to symptoms such as difficulty breathing, muscle spasms, and in severe cases, death. Other insects that have evolved to immense sizes include the giant waterbug, giant grasshoppers, giant rainforest katydid, giant water scavenger beetles, various species of huge cicadas, massive titan stick insects, and that's just to name a few. Basically, just put the word giant or titan in front of any insect, and it's probably a thing in Australia. They also have huge cockroaches. These Australian super roaches can't be vanquished with a simple newspaper swipe. I'm afraid you need something a bit more sturdy than that. These absolute units are actually some of the heaviest beetles in the world, with a length of up to 8 centimetres. Just look at them compared to that hand, they're just massive. With this information in mind, you might assume that Australia has an abnormally large amount of massive, terrifying insects, but that's actually not the case at all. You see, Australia doesn't simply have a lot of scary insects. It has a lot of insects in general, and I mean a lot. Of the approximately 200,000 animal species discovered in Australia, an astonishing 96% of these creatures are invertebrates, with 75% of them being insects. So, this massive number of insects gives the illusion of there being more monster bugs than in other places on Earth, but it's basically just a numbers game. This next animal is a true dinosaur and has actually caused human fatalities. I am, of course, talking about the most aggressive bird there is, the cassowary. This 6.5 feet or 2 meters tall bird has massive legs with sharp dinosaur-like claws and a powerful kick, the perfect combination for disemboweling hostile opponents. Another creature that is hard to believe exists is the red kangaroo. This 200 pounds or 90 kilograms muscular beast is not to be messed with. They stand at around 6 feet or 180 centimeters and are always ready to rumble. Just like the cassowary, they are known for their powerful kick and can cause serious injury. However, as far as I know, there have not been any casualties related to red kangaroos. We can't forget about the reptiles of Australia either, as they are known to have one of the most diverse collections of reptiles on Earth. Everything from the inland Taipan, which is often considered the most venomous snake in the world. Its venom primarily targets the nervous and cardiovascular systems. It can also lead to muscle weakness, paralysis, changes in heart rate and blood pressure. The pain from such a bite will include a sudden and searing sensation. Imagine being poked by a burning needle. Now, let's take a look at the creature represented in the thumbnail of this video, which is not clickbait at all. It's an actual real-life creature that lives in the rich soils of Australia. I assume everyone watching is familiar with earthworms. You know, those squirmy little critters you put on your fishing hook when you were a kid. Well, in Australia, the earthworms might just be bigger than the fish you were catching. This is the giant Gippsland earthworm and it can grow to an incredible size of over 10 feet or 3 meters in length. Other than its size, it's pretty much just a normal earthworm doing earthworm things. If you're wondering why it's so big, well, it's not set in stone, but the earthworm's large size might be a result of the abundant organic matter and nutrients available in its habitat. 
The damp forests and wetlands of the Gippsland region provide a consistent source of decaying plant material that supports the earthworm's growth to larger sizes compared to other earthworm species. The reason for Australia's incredibly diverse wildlife might surprise you. Australia has around 300 species of land mammals, and over 90% of these are only found in Australia. Reports also show that about 70% of birds and almost 90% of the reptiles in Australia are only found there and nowhere else. Now, why is this the case? Well, it's really not that complicated. Basically, when Australia got separated from the mainland about 180 million years ago, it got isolated from the rest of the world and disconnected from other ecosystems. But that's not all. You see, Australia was once home to some absolutely massive creatures. For example, there was a 1,000 pounds kangaroo, lizards measuring around 25 feet in length, wombats weighing around two metric tons, flightless birds weighing over 400 pounds, and turtles as big as cars. Around 45,000 years ago, all these massive animals went extinct because of human intervention, and some simply had to downsize due to a lack of food. This lack of large predators allowed all the other animals to evolve freely without too many obstacles. So that's how we ended up with the crazy, unique wildlife we see in Australia today. The most unique animal being the platypus, which also happens to be one of my favorites. The platypus is just evolutionary madness. It looks like someone took a beaver, mixed it with some duck, then added in a splash of snake venom and voila, we have the platypus. The platypus is such an odd looking creature that when scientists examined the preserved body of a platypus in 1977, they concluded it to be a hoax made from several animals. I guess they did not really understand the scope of Australia's evolutionary capabilities at the time, and I can't blame them. Now, what about the ocean? That can't be too bad, right? Well, I'll just give you a little recap, because Australia has so many deadly creatures lurking in the shoreline that it could basically be its own video. The most deadly ones include the great white shark, tiger shark, bull shark, box jellyfish, blue ringed octopus, cone snails, stonefish, and of course, the saltwater crocodile. And that's just to name a few. Although Australia may seem like this unforgiving killbox, it's really not the case at all. The likelihood of even encountering any of these animals is extremely slim, so you don't have anything to worry about as long as you use your common sense. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like and watch some of my other videos on screen, and I'll see you in the next one.